Hello and welcome back to this new video. Today we'll be talking about something new. Yes, in WordFast Pro 5 you can now upload SDL Trados packages. Sounds good? Well, let's see how you can do that in this video. Let's get started, shall we? So I'm here in WordFast Pro 5 and I received an SDL package that I need to upload and translate. So I just need to make use of this new button here in the projects tab, import SDL package. So I go there and I just click on it. And this is going to open a dialogue for me. And here first I need to locate my package. So uh, I click on browse and my project is here as you see. It has the proprietary SDL PPX extension, that's an SDL package, of course, and now I just click on open. And now I'm just going to edit the project name for to make it easy for me to find it. And once this is done, I can now just click on import and wait for it to be ready. And now I can see my working file uh, here, which I can open with a double click. Okay, great. So my file is ready now and I can start translating it normally. And uh, so that's the file that was in the SDL project. So that's the SDL XLIF file. And now for the next step, I've pre-translated it with machine translation. So if I now want to deliver the translated file, I can export it as an SDL XLIF. And to be able to do this, I need to go to the file tab. So let's do that. So I go to the file tab. Here the button I need to use is this one, save file as translated. So I click on it. And I see when I click on it that here I have the option to save it as an SDL XLIF. So that's exactly what I want to do. So I click on save. And I saved it to the desktop. And if we now take a look, the file has the correct extension, SDL XLIF. So everything is fine. Now, to learn more, let's go to the current project view. And if I look here uh, at the file I've been translating, by doing a right click on it, I can find the location, selecting Open File Location. So that will now open the default location where WordFast stores the working file on my computer. And here I can see it is not an SDLX leaf, actually. WordFast has converted it to a TXLF. So your working file is a TXLF and that's why you need to export again as an SDLX leaf, like as we did, to return the file in the same format as it came in. So if you want to manually get to the location of your working TXLF, you can pause the video now and follow this path. Now, let's talk about what we can learn from all this when importing an SDL package to WordFast Pro 5. WordFast will create a WF project from the SDL project. The SDL XLIF from the project will be converted to a TXLF for you to be able to work on it. And you can export back the file to SDL XLIF, of course. The SDL TM and the SDL TB, however, will not be imported automatically. So you'll have to convert them and add them manually if you need them. And I'll put a link in the video description to a video by CatGuru that explains how to convert these. Now, let's consider the situation where your client wants an SDL XLIF file, but doesn't know how to upload it, uh, then you can watch or make them watch this video right here. Or if you are in a situation where they really want an SDL return package, well, there is a way around that and you can build an SDL return package that will be fully working. And I explained that in that video right here. And if you enjoyed these videos and if you want to support the channel and join the 100 plus subscribers to this channel, please click right here.
and I'll be talking to you in the next one. Take care.